вечер. Good evening. Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья. Good evening, dear ladies and gentlemen. And today we welcome you at the ceremony of the Culture Online Polar Russian Awards that takes place in St. Petersburg in the Manege Exhibition Hall. And I believe that this award is going to be one of the signature events of the 2020 because it captures the very essence of those mammoth changes that we faced this year. And when the outside circumstances seem to have divided us away from the necessary cultural support, the technologies came to our rescue. And thanks to the creative approach of those working in theaters, museums, and other cultural institutions, we were able to create a brand new space to communicate with the audiences. But being in quarantine, I think I've attended more exhibitions and premieres and performances then and during the regular lifetime. What does it illustrate? It illustrates that the efforts of the nominees today didn't go in vain because the pandemic sooner or later is going to become the thing of the past and the unique online formats will stay with us and will be able to help us work with different audiences. So I believe now is the time to give the floor to the those who are with us today and learn the names of the winners. So now the word goes to the chairperson of the expert committee of the uh, culture online, Alla Manilova. Good evening, dear audience, dear participants. It's my pleasure to welcome you at the culture online award. The of what's been instituted by the leadership of the Cultural Forum to support the cultural institutions that implement online technologies and significant projects in the culture sphere that's been implemented with advanced technology. During the self-isolations, the limitation uh, of communications, digital communication means became the only communication means. So the digitalization and shift to the new interaction formats became more than just a fashionable trend. It is our priority task today. And in the majority of institutions, they did just fine. The best witness to that is the number of the nominees. 235 projects out of 43 Russian regions have been amassed and been divided between best online project, online breakthrough, best SMM campaign, best online platform, integration of IT and culture. And I'll be honest with you, such uh, an attention was very pleasant for us. Uh, the format uh, that includes uh, virtual tours, seminars, films, theater broadcasts, online exhibitions, quests using the newest in IT technology. The public received a unique opportunity to see something that has only been available to some to very few professionals. So the project has been using the uh, VR a lot. In 2020, Russia celebrating the 75th year anniversary in the victory in the Great Patriotic War. And at the very first stage, the expert community decided to give a separate nomination for the projects dedicated to this, the Special Jury Prize. I hope that the, cult the Culture Online Award would become a, signific a significant stimulus for the culture institutions to make further steps into the digital realm, or wish them best of success, best of successes in their development and become a true international feature because many of the projects uh, aim not only to the users domestically but internationally. So I wish all the best to all the competitors, for everyone who are able to adapt to a new reality 
we're staying in touch, staying online. Thank you, Ms. Manilova. And now it is time to begin our first nomination, Best SMM Campaign. And in this award, the Expert Council picked the most popular blog dedicated to culture and arts in the Russian internet segment with growing internet audiences. So here are five projects that made it blog on, blog on the history of culture and traditions of the Russian people, Dalina Chudis by Janna Andreevskaya. Drawing, is, drawing isolations uh, alone with Pushkin Museum by the Pushkin Museum. Kulturno account in TikTok by Kultur, Kultura RF. First Instagram Museum Pictorial Art RU by Dmitry Avdenka. And School of Popular Art, Op Pop Art by Anastasia Postrigai. And the winner will be announced by the director of Manege Exhibition Hall, Pavel Prigara. And the winner is School of Popular Art, Op Pop Art by Anastasia Postrigai. Op Pop Art is one of the largest Russian language blogs on culture in Instagram that popularizes art among the Instagram users. Anastasia Postrigai is art historian, former art dealer and author of a unique method of art education that is used by over 600,000 people around the world. Next nomination, Integration of IT and Culture. In this nomination, the Expert Council picked a project that demonstrated a synergy of art and contemporary technologies and proved that culture and progress complement each other perfectly. The nominees are Bachmetiev's Garage and Around It by the Jewish Museum and the Tolerance Center. Theater in 360 Degrees, the new outlook by the Bransky Drama Theater, named after Tolstoy. Code of Life, AR Quest by the State Darwin Museum, Smart Museum by the State Pushkin Museum, and the Museum of the Disappeared Paintings by Rasia Sivodna. Pavel Prigara, please announce the speaker. And the winner is VR Project, the Museum of Disappeared Paintings by Russia Sivodna Media Group. It's a unique project in virtual reality where one can see 17 paintings that's been lost but have been recreated in VR. The project is available to watch for free in Russian and English. The encompassing of the project is nearly 4 million users. And it's great that people are, you know, cheer for each other in the sphere of art. Next nomination, best online platform. And in this nomination, the Expert Council picked an online platform that gave access to various content for both Russian and international audiences. And the finalists are Musica Eterna Digital Platform by Theodore Corrientes and VTB Bank. When We're Home, multimedia service by Oko and Sparebank. We're off to a museum by Adnaklasniki and Mailru Group. Pro Culture RF by Culture RF. And Staying Home with Russian Seasons by the Russian Seasons. The winners to be announced by the president of the Russian Academy of Fine Arts, Simeon Mikhailovsky. And the winner is Stay Home with Russian Seasons, organized by the Russian Seasons. Stay Home with Russian Seasons is the 
largest festival of the Russian culture, uh, all-encompassing free library of Russian content for Russian and foreign audiences. And we're confident that the organizers of the Russian seasons are as happy as all other nominees and the winners of the award. Online breakthrough. Here, the award went to the brightest and the most innovative project dedicated to arts and culture that made a breakthrough in an online sphere thanks to an unusual approach to content creation. The finalists are Dance Open Online Marathon by Dance Open Festival, International Museum Festival Intermuseum 2020 by the Intermuseum Festival. The 13th International Military Musical Festival Spaske Tower by the Spaske Tower Culture Center. Culture RF by Culture RF. Tretikov Gallery with by, by Oko Multimedia Service. And Semyon Mikhailovsky will announce the winner. And the winner is culture.rf. Culture RF portal. During the pandemic, Culture RF became the main platform for culture institutions since March. There are over 86,000 online events have been placed on the platform. It's movies, performances. And overall, at the portal today, nearly 5,000 educational and entertaining videos placed on the portal. I think hardly anyone from our audience uh, needs introduction to Culture RF. Next nomination, best online project. Here, the Expert Council picked the brightest broadcast of cultural events viewed by tens of millions of people. The finalists are the performance of Victory Day Dein Pabede song by uh, a joint orchestra of over a thousand musicians conducted by Yuri Bashmit, Dante's Circles by Tass, Art, Marath Art Marathon Vkontakte in Vkontakte Social Network, Alone with Pushkinsky by State Pushkin Museum, a Russian German Musical Academy online dedicated to the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II RCCR projects. And the winner to be announced by Deputy Minister of Culture of the Russian Federation, Maxim Ksenzov. Good evening. It is my honor to announce the name of winners for the best online projects. They include museums, theaters, regional institutions, media outlets, online portals, and services. Best online project had the most signatories. There was over 100 projects meeting so much, meet this much attention. The Expert Council decided to award three winners. On behalf of the Minister of Culture, I thank you for professionalism while implementing this project, and I would like to wish keep the bar high and hope that all for the projects are going to get as much response as these ones did. So third place, best online project. Marathon of Art in Vkontakte. The project of Vkontakte Social Network allows the users to not just be the audience members, but else, but actually take, take virtual part in the marathon and allowed for the audience members to become the first to see premieres and see the brightest works of art from all Russian territories saying so keeping up the social distance. Second place, alone with Pushkinsky. 
State Museum of Art named after Alexander Pushkin. This spring, during the period of self-isolation, the Pushkin Museum was among the first to support the international international program isolation withdrawing when the participants recreated internationally renowned work of art and published them under hashtag the isolation. And the number one award goes to the Russian German Music Academy Online, dedicated to the 75th anniversary of the end of the Great Patriotic War and World War II, RCCR project. The project includes six large-scale events dedicated to the 75th anniversary of victory in the Great Patriotic War, two films and four streams. Over four million people logged on to see the very necessary and timely project. So we congratulate the winners. And now we go to the special jury prizes for the creative approach, the additional nominations. This nomination, the victory goes to the project that demonstrated creative and unusual approach to the information provisions and attracting the audience attention to the cultural heritage and traditions. And the name of the winner would be announced by the head of the Alexandrinsky Theater, Valery Fokin. And the winner is Digital Project, The Culture of Yaroslavia. The culture of Yaroslavia is the uh, is the navigator among the bright events, symbols, and the cultural heritage of the Yaroslavsky of the Yaroslavsky region. It received over 50,000 hits from 50 countries and 50 different regions of Russia. Next nomination: additional special jury prize. And there will be two winners here. 2020, Russia celebrates the 75th anniversary of victory in the Great Patriotic War. Great many contenders have been studied for this. And at the selection stage, the special prize of the jury has been formed for them. And this nomination includes projects that, that made this project particularly meaningful and illustrated why it is in particularly important to remember lessons for each generation. Mr. Fokin, please announce the next winner. There are two winners here. First one, Tales in the Bomb Shelter, Chronicles of Kindergartens and Schools of the Besieged Leningrad by the TAS agency. The project is dedicated to the everyday life of the caretakers and teachers during the, during the siege of Leningrad. They talk about the achievements of the teachers who continued working at the most difficult time of history of, of St. Petersburg and not only helped them, but guided them through those years. And the second winner, first place, is the performance of the Victory Day song by joint orchestra of 1,000 people led by Yuri Bashmet by the Russian concert agency. Led by Yuri Bashmet, the musicians jointly performed the song of David Tukhmanov to the lyrics of Vladimir Kharitonov, Victory Day, Zayn Pabedi. The event included 314 musicians from over 50 Russian cities and over 600 singers from 37 choirs from 22 Russian regions. The overall, the project brought together over 1,000 people. And overall, the performance has been viewed by more than 3 million people. 
friends, colleagues, once again, let us congratulate everyone who won this year. And our ceremony is coming to an end. Once again, we'd like to congratulate everybody and we'd like to congratulate all of us that we have these wonderful, talented, innovatively thinking, passionate digital people. And thanks to you, thanks to you, the self the quarantine wasn't just a quarantine but was an emotional and intellectual one. And it's very important. I'd like to join all Alexander's wishes. So all of you participants and nominees, I wish you all the best and even more exciting online projects that are going to change our cultural life for the best. We're staying in touch. All the best to you. Goodbye.